Ontario is home to some of the most pristine parks from the south to the north. These parks may offer many activities from hiking to fishing to cliff diving to canoeing and of course camping. In this video you will find our pick of the top 6 parks in Ontario as well as the activities and everything else in between offered in each of them. Number 6 Kilbear Kilbear is a spectacular park located just 3 hours outside of Toronto. Often referred to as the Jewel of the North, it is easy to see why this provincial park is a summer hotspot. Located on the eastern shore of the Georgian Bay, this park offers a diverse landscape from granite rocks to soft sandy beaches to thick green forests. The park has over 12 kilometers of rugged shoreline and three islands to explore. There are dozens of other islands within a short paddle from the park. Paddlers must also be aware of the wind and wave conditions when in the water and also note that you cannot rent canoes in Kilbear. One of our favorite trails is the Lighthouse Point Trail as it takes you along the shoreline and provides you a view of 30,000 islands. Number 5. Lake Superior Lake Superior is a marvelous park located 10 hours from Toronto, near Wawa. This park is known for 150 kilometers of maintained canoe routes, 130 kilometers of hiking trails, and approximately 200 backcountry and two 10-car campsites. There are two campgrounds in the area, Rabbit Blanket Lake and Agawa Bay. Rabbit Blanket Lake has 60 of the most well-maintained car campsites, and Agawa Bay has 120 car campsites. 11 trails let visitors explore the variety of landscapes that make up Lake Superior Provincial Park. Rocky shores, beaches, lakes and rivers, waterfalls, forests, wetlands and rolling hills. Among these trails, there's the famous Nokomis Trail. The Nokomis Trail can be accessed from the Old Woman Bay day use area. It is a moderate 5 km loop and it takes 1.5 to 3 hours to complete. The Nokomis Trail is ranked among the top 5 day hikes in the country according to Lonely Planet's Discover Canada's guidebook. From the Rabbit Blanket Campground, it takes about 30 minutes to get to the historical Agawa Bay pictographs, so make sure to check out the popular attraction if you're in the area. Watch a video about the Agawa Bay pictographs for more details. Number 4. Bon Echo. If you're looking for a park that has it all, family and pet friendly beaches, fishing, canoeing, hiking, history, full service and backcountry sites, Bon Echo is your answer. One major highlight of this park is a 100 meter high Mazinaw rock featuring over 260 indigenous pictographs. Apart from that, there are great hiking trails from 1 km length to 17 km length and an interpretive boat tour on Mazinaw Lake and over to Mazinaw Rock. Kiskobas canoe route is around 20 km, a 6 hour loop, moderate to difficult. This day paddle takes you past indigenous pictographs to still waters of the nature reserve on the east side of the park. Please note, one portage is 1.5 km. There are a number of trails, but my recommendation is a cliff top trail, a 1.5 km 1 hour trail. This trail is only accessible by water. Use a ferry service with a small fee or a canoe and it will take you to the start of the trail. Stairs and a pathway take hikers to the top of Mazinaw Rock to three observation decks overlooking the lake. There are three natural sand beaches recommended for swimming. The main beach is located in Lower Mazinaw Lake. Campers go crazy for this park due to its variety of camping experiences, scenic views and the adventure the park offers. With your choice of car campsites, walk-in sites, backcountry sites, yurts and cabins, there's truly an experience for everyone. For visitors that are car camping, there's a choice for two different sites. One is for more wilderness lovers and the other is slightly not. Number 3. Sleeping Giant Sleeping Giant is an astounding park located in Thunder Bay. It's around a 15 hour drive from Toronto. You can visit this park on your Lake Superior Circle Tour. You will immediately fall in love with the towering cliffs, the vastness of Lake Superior and its beautiful forest. 
Sleeping Giant Provincial Park offers many activities for you to explore, one of them being hiking. There are 25 hiking trails in Sleeping Giant classified from easy to difficult depending on the terrain and the distance. If you're looking for a longer hike, then trekking to the top of the giant is definitely a must. This challenging trail takes you to the top of the tallest cliff in Ontario. Plan one full day for this hike with enough food and water. Most hikers take about 6 to 10 hours to complete this breathtaking trail, but the views of it are absolutely amazing. Magnificent Lakes and Sleeping Giant If you don't own canoes and kayaks, you can rent them from the park. The canoes and kayaks can only be used in Mary Lewis Lake. Sleeping Giant has over 200 campsites at Mary Lewis Lake Campground. There are six rustic cabins for campers who like roofed accommodations. Number 2. Killarney Killarney Provincial Park, iconic for its 645 square kilometers of wilderness, showcases the wild Georgian Bay coast of pink granite. This park inspired the legendary group of seven and still retains its reputation as the jewel of Ontario's park system. Killarney offers numerous canoe routes that can be explored in a day to over a week. The deep clear lakes nestled between the impressive white hills of Laclos Range are a canoeist's dream. Only canoeing and kayaking is permitted in the interior lake. Killarney Provincial Park offers five day use hiking trails. My recommendation is a crack trail. Once you reach the top of the ridge, you'll be treated to one of the most beautiful panoramic vistas on all sides. Certainly one of the best views in the park. George Lake Campground is open for camping all year, even in the winter. Killarney has over 183 backcountry canoe insights and 34 backcountry hike insights. Number 1. Algonquin Algonquin has a reputation for some of the best trout fishing in Canada. More than 230 lakes have native brook trout and 149 have lake trout. There are two outfitters which offer canoe rentals in the park. Oh, did I mention Algonquin Provincial Park offers canoeing enthusiasts a canoe route network of over 2,100 kilometers. Algonquin is a beautiful park located between the Georgian Bay and Ottawa River in Ontario. It's a three hour drive from Toronto. Algonquin Provincial Park is the oldest provincial park in Canada. This park is decently big. It has 7,600 square kilometers of land. Algonquin Park is one of the most popular parks in Canada. It offers 14 hiking trails. They're open all year round. One common trail is the Brent Crater Trail. It is a two kilometer trail where visitors can explore the Brent Meteor Crater. One of the most famous fossil meteor craters in the world. Algonquin Park provides excellent wildlife viewing possibilities. Animals commonly seen include moose, deer, and over 260 species of birds.